Hi, welcome to The Law Simplified. I'm Shaveen Bandad Nayaka. This is the submission. Um, now, over the past several weeks, the overwhelming majority of you have asked me one specific question. What is the SQE, or the Solicitor's Qualification Examination? Now, a quick TLDR in terms of how the process used to be, and for the most part, how it still is, in terms of you becoming a solicitor uh, in, in England and Wales. Um, essentially, once you finish a pre-existing law degree, let's say an LLB, or if you're coming in from a different qualification, let's say, uh, doing a GDL, a graduate diploma in law, would entitle you to follow uh, what many universities and institutions would consider an LPC, or a legal practice course. Uh, which would supplement the substantive components of the law that you would have learned in the academic component, such as an LLB, uh, the seven or so foundation modules, um, with certain practice modules, like criminal practice, property practice, uh, dispute resolution, um, wills and administration of estates, and so on. Once this is done, um, it entitles you to sit for an examination, uh, either by virtue of certain um, formative or summative assessments, and then a final examination as well, and then finally be recognized by the SRA, the Solicitor's Regulation Authority, as a solicitor of England and Wales. Subject, of course, to an apprenticeship or a, a period of time in terms of work, which is now considered as qualifying work experience. Now, there's a lot of information to digest, and I don't believe one episode of this caliber is sufficient, and I highly urge you to go through um, the links that I've provided in the description below. Uh, these links will take you to the provisions and the Q&As uh, that the SRA, to their credit, have been very expansive on, from webinars to the transitional provisions to even the syllabus and the criteria and what they expect, not just from students, but also training providers uh, from this new process. So I, it's highly recommended So go through all of that um, subsequent to watching this video as well. Now, one of the most common questions that I've been getting in terms of the new SQE is how does this change my pathway to becoming a solicitor or practicing law in the UK. So the aim of this particular episode of the submission is to essentially outline for you um, a few options that you might have which you didn't have prior to the implementation of the SQE that's going to come up uh, later on this year. Um, now the first major change is that there is no pre-existing requirement for a law degree or an equivalency of a law degree. Um, now, this is one of the most tectonic changes, I would, I would argue, because up until this point, and even to this point as well, and uh, until the latter end of this year, you would essentially have to have a um, LLB or a GDL in order to show the SRA that you have accomplished and you're capable of understanding the academic components of the law, and then that's an entry requirement as such. So you have different universities and institutions providing the relevant background and the relevant qualifications. So the major change now is that as long as you have a pre-existing and recognized qualification, um, a degree essentially in any subject area, this would suffice for you to actually sit for the newly created SQE series of examinations, SQE 1 and SQE 2. Um, I'll get to that in a bit. Um, but the primary remit or the main thing to understand is that once you do have a pre-existing degree, then you no longer essentially have to follow either a law course or a legal practice course like you used to have to. And along with that degree, all you would have to do is sit for the relevant examinations which are now directly conducted by the Solicitor's Regulatory Regulation Authority in November this year and then the practical components in April of next year. Now as I noted this video is insufficient essentially to outline all of the details because it's it's far reaching and it's very expansive and the SRA does a much better job than me at highlighting all the little nuances of this. But if you are interested in finding out how exactly to structure your study around this 
Um, have a look at the links in the description below. Uh, you can drop me a WhatsApp message on the official Law Simplified WhatsApp line or even drop me an email and we can try to formulate exactly what you need to do as a pre-existing professional, perhaps even in another subject area. Um, but that being said, the second major change that the SQE provides is a much more fast track method of becoming a solicitor in England and Wales. So now, for instance, if you are a professional in another area, let's say in marketing or management, um, the qualification component of becoming a solicitor is somewhat fast tracked. Because if you do have the tenacity, the time and the competence to go through about 13 odd modules in total within the span of one and a half years, you will essentially have the opportunity then to supplement that with a qualifying work experience. In other words, the idea being that you can get away with the um, academic components of this qualification of the SQE program quite quickly and then quickly from that point onwards get into the vocational components, which in other contexts, if you were to go in the traditional route in the past, you would have to have either two or three years in terms of a degree followed by another one and a half years of the LPC or the legal practice course, followed then by a period of vocational training. So you're looking at overall of five to six years, which now somewhat whittles down, if you so choose, to something like two and a half years at best. Um, now, that being said, keep in mind um, that by no means is the academic rigor of an SQE any less than an LLB or a Bachelor's of Law or even a GDL program. Uh, far from it. It's just become more compacted, more compressed, and it's more intensive. Yes, the examination technique is a bit different. And um, when, we, when we look at this, perhaps in another video as well, because as I told you, this, this is quite um, compressed in itself in this video, just to give you, to whet your appetite essentially on another potential of becoming a solicitor in England and Wales. Um, as I noted, it is a compressed intensive course, the SQE. Um, if you wanna find out a bit more, do check out the links in the description. I highly recommend visiting um, the SRA's dedicated SQE or Solicitor's Qualification Examination website. Uh, it's updated quite, um, quite rigidly, it's updated quite consistently uh, and they do go through uh, much more nuanced aspects of this. If you are interested in finding out more about the SQE and how exactly the Law Simplified sort of um, hones in on this and how it can optimize your study as well, I'd be more than happy to uh, dispense even more information based on your specific requirement. Do reach out on WhatsApp, drop me an email, make sure you put a like to this video if it was helpful and do comment um, if you have any further questions that might be of concern to you specifically as a student, as a potential student as well, in the comment section of this video, and I'll try to compile another video or maybe a series of videos in terms of the SQE and how this impacts your journey and your career path uh, in becoming a solicitor uh, in England and Wales. But until the next time that we meet, have fun, stay safe, and as always, obey the law.